Hello YouTube, I fix it all here, team I fix it all. So this is the final um, piece of the raised garden bed. Um, capping off the top, I decided to um, use these uh, various feed sacks that I have and cut them out in strips. I've got a little workstation over there. Um, at the, uh, wood splitter, there's a tuba six sticking out where I just run a razor knife and those sacks that I have from cat food. And then one of our, uh, someone we know had some pigs and they had feed sacks and I'm razor knifing all of those down to uh, thin strips and stapling them to the top. That creates the awning effect I was looking for. Plus, this is a flexible material that if the walls do get a little bit sketchy on pushing outward or inward, eh, it's inexpensive to uh, deal with. I also laid these on like shingles because I'm downhill from up there just in case the water settles and it runs it's going to run off of that one and go onto the ground but I've got a lot of good clearance for the awning portion. I've got about a uh, three inch overhang here. Most areas is about two or three inches. I expect most of this to just start to sag on its own. It might curl. I don't know. Um, if it curls, I have to come out here with a hair dryer and maybe uh, periodically hit it, hit the side with a staple to kind of encourage the uh, awning effect. But uh, that's that. Now that I've got this solved, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Uh, I can move on to uh, spraying the exterior. And the only thing I expect to have to repair or, re or replace is possibly the lower exterior boards. So that may become a thing in the future. It may not. Who knows? Uh, I loaded up the beds with leaves. Let those decompose and uh kick off another year next year another thing that we have going on is um i have a spare panel here and uh we're gonna turn our that's heavy keep that in mind now that is going to lay on top of this right here from like this area down to about right there. That's about the length of it. That panel, we will, uh, you can go to Lowe's and get these two foot wide rolls of saran wrap. Looks like saran wrap. But we're, what I'm going to do is wrap that full length with saran wrap lay it on top of this tuck it and lay it down it's going to be real heavy but now it's going to have um a way to act as a greenhouse and what i'll do is we got our little seed starters for next spring or little pots we use to start seed but what i'll we'll do is um fill those with some good dirt and put our little seeds in the little pots and then come out here and uh scoot the leaves away set these individual little planters in amongst the leaves and then this uh this big pig fence panel I'll rig it up I'll rig it up to where we can lift it and it'll kind of hinge off of this 
we can water and then lower it back down again it'll act as a greenhouse and it'll solve a problem we had in our house with starting seed which is called uh, hardening the plants our little greenhouse kit we got from um, Amazon the lights themselves were producing an incorrect frequency of light and our our seedlings were get what getting what they were called leggy so uh leggy meaning thin puny stalks and lots of green leaves um this will give us the ability to start our seeds out here uh just kind of burrow out and set the planters down in amongst these leaves and close the lid down which will be that panel that's wrapped in that saran wrap and then the sun will come up over there beat down on this first bay and uh, be our little greenhouse seed starting station all right guys talk to you later see ya